Yarmo, uh, give us your thoughts on the meetings thus far. A lot of good discussion. Um, you know, games in good shape, and, and and you know, scoring is up. Games are exciting. Lots of skill in display. So I think we're in good shape. But there's always an opportunity to tweak something, maybe a little bit, or improve. Uh, I guess you always want to improve if you have an opportunity to do that. There was some talk about uh, maybe making a, a tweak to the penalties in overtime because the four on three overtime power play is more dangerous than the five on four in regulation. Is that something that's been a topic of conversation? And if so, how do you feel about it? Uh, it hasn't come up yet. I, I feel strongly about it because two minute penalty in the overtime takes 40% of the, of the five minutes that we're playing. And, and depending on what time you take it, um, that could be a, a topic, a good topic, in my opinion, to discuss. You take it in the first minute of the uh, overtime, you're getting the full two minutes. If, if you get it with 10 seconds left or 15 seconds left in the overtime, it's completely different. Um, so yeah, I, I'd be anxious to hear what the other uh, colleagues are thinking about it because I think uh, it, it is a huge part when your four on three power play is significantly uh, more, more decisive than, than the five on four in the uh, regulation. All right, you uh, you went in big at the trade deadline. You made some big moves for your team. Where do you think you guys are right now as you come down the stretch? Well, part part or biggest part of the reasons why we made the moves was that uh, I think it could be historically hard uh, to make the playoffs in the Eastern Conference. The, some of the projections are saying they could take as many as 99 points to make the playoffs. So that was the biggest reason. First, we have to try to make the playoffs and, and then talk about anything else. And, and uh, we fully realize the battle we're in and, um, and uh, the additions. Uh, we talked about it all year. If, if guys like that would be available, be good additions to our group. We haven't played our best hockey lately. Uh, I thought we took a step into the right direction last night against Winnipeg where we played fairly well, but the result wasn't what we had wanted. So uh, just got to keep uh, going after it. And tomorrow is another opportunity when we play the, uh, the New Jersey Devils. Yarmo, the, uh, we had a, a, a sad loss for the hockey family today with uh, Ted Lindsay passing away. Did you get a chance to ever be around Ted Lindsay and uh, maybe uh, cross paths with him during your career? Not really. That his his era was, uh, was a bit before where I even got to uh, follow uh, the NHL hockey regularly in Finland. But obviously heard and read a lot about him and the competitor he was and the legacy he left, not just on the ice but off the ice. And have nothing but the uh, utmost respect for for him and and the legacy he leaves. Um, you know, um, had a chance to meet with him once, but that's about it. But uh, uh, a lot of respect. Yarma, thanks for the time. We'll talk to you later in the week. Thank you.